Welcome to Brussels, Belgium's capital, a city where history, culture, and modern charm converge. This bustling metropolis is more than just the heart of Belgium, it's the de facto capital of the European Union, a melting pot of cultures and a testament to the resilience and innovation of its people. From its cobblestone streets and grand squares to its world-renowned institutions and vibrant neighborhoods, Brussels is a city that proudly wears its rich history while eagerly embracing the future. Each corner of this city is a tapestry of tales, each street a conduit for culture, and each building a bearer of beauty. As we wander through Brussels, we'll encounter architectural marvels that span centuries, from the Gothic spires of the town hall to the sleek lines of the Atomium. We'll delve into the city's folklore embodied in the mischievous mannequin piss, and we'll explore the city's culinary delights, from mouth-watering waffles to decadent chocolates. Brussels isn't just about history and food though. It's also a city of art and innovation, home to world-class museums, cutting-edge design, and a thriving comics culture. And let's not forget the city's love for the grand and the festive, with events like the biennial flower carpet at Grand Place and the Brussels Jazz Festival, showcasing the city's artistic vibrancy. But Brussels isn't merely a collection of attractions, it's a city of contrasts where old meets new, tradition meets innovation, and local meets global. It's a city that's as diverse as the European Union it hosts, with over 100 nationalities coexisting and contributing to its unique cultural mix. In Brussels, every day is a celebration of diversity, a tribute to history, and a toast to the future. This is a city that invites you to explore, to taste, to marvel, and to discover. So whether you're a history buff, a foodie, an art lover, or just a curious traveler, there's something in Brussels for you. Brussels is not just a city, it's an experience waiting to unfold. At the heart of Brussels stands the iconic Grand Place, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This square enveloped by gilded buildings is a spectacle of architectural grandeur that leaves you breathless. Each building, a testament to the city's rich history, has its own story to tell. The town hall, the only medieval building in the square, is adorned with a spire that reaches towards the sky, topped by a statue of St. Michael slaying a demon. This Gothic masterpiece with its intricate stone carvings is a testament to the craftsmanship of the medieval times. Adjacent to the town hall is the Maison du Roi, or the King's House, a neo-Gothic building that houses the city museum. Its grand facade, decorated with statues of nobility and saints, captures the essence of Brussels history. But the grand place isn't just about historic buildings. It's a living, breathing cultural hub that hosts numerous events throughout the year. The square comes alive during the Omegang pageant, a historic reenactment festival that takes you back to the 16th century. This event transforms the square into a vibrant spectacle of horse-drawn carriages, traditional dances, and period costumes. The square also becomes a canvas for the world-famous flower carpet, a biennial event where the entire square is covered in a carpet of begonias. This mesmerizing display of floral artistry is a sight to behold, as the square blooms into a sea of vibrant colors and intricate patterns. The Grand Place is also the starting point for the Brussels comic book route, a tribute to the city's love for comics. This route takes you on a journey through the city, leading you to murals of famous comic characters adorning the city walls. Grand Place is more than a square. It's a testament to Brussels' rich history and cultural vibrancy. It's a place where the past and present coexist, where every corner whispers tales of bygone eras and every event adds a new chapter to the city's story. So, next time you find yourself in Brussels, take a moment to soak in the grandeur of Grand Place. It's an experience you wouldn't want to miss. In Brussels, even the smallest statue holds a big place in the city's heart and folklore. Meet Mannequin Piss, a two-foot-tall bronze statue of a young boy cheerfully relieving himself into a fountain's basin. This may seem unusual to some, but for the locals, this little boy is a beloved symbol of their city's sense of humor and independence. The Mannequin Piss, or Little Pisser as it's affectionately known, has been a resident of Brussels since the early 17th century. But don't let his small stature fool you. This tiny statue has a big history filled with legends and traditions that are as quirky as the statue itself. One popular tale suggests that the Mannequin Piz celebrates the heroics of a two-year-old duke who urinated on enemy troops to thwart an attack on the city. Another story tells of a wealthy merchant who lost his son in the city and found him in this cheeky pose. Regardless of the story's origin, all tales agree on one thing. The Mannequin Piz is a symbol of the city's enduring spirit and resilience. 
The statue's charm extends beyond its whimsical premise. Over the years, the mannequin piss has amassed an impressive wardrobe of over 900 costumes, each one representing different countries, professions, and even local sports teams. These costumes are changed according to a schedule managed by a non-profit association, the Friends of Mannequin Piss, and each change is celebrated with a small ceremony. The Mannequin Piss has even been known to gush beer or wine from his fountain during special occasions. But whether he's dressed as Santa Claus during the Christmas season, or as a firefighter to honor Brussels Brave, this little statue always brings a smile to the faces of locals and tourists alike. This peculiar yet endearing figure is more than just a statue. It's a testament to Brussels' ability to find joy and humor in the everyday, a reflection of the city's playful personality and its knack for not taking itself too seriously. Mannequin Piss, a tiny statue with a big story, truly embodies the spirit of Brussels. Brussels isn't just about history, it's also home to some striking modern architecture. In the heart of the capital, there's an edifice that stands tall, mirroring the city's commitment to the future. The Atomium. Constructed for the 1958 Brussels World's Fair, the Atomium is an architectural marvel that captures the spirit of the atomic age. Its design, inspired by the atomic structure of an iron crystal, magnified 165 billion times, is a testament to the era's fascination with science and progress. And it doesn't just impress from the outside. Within its nine interconnected spheres, the Atomium houses a museum, a restaurant, and several exhibition spaces, offering a panoramic view of Brussels. This futuristic structure symbolizes the city's forward-looking spirit and its embrace of scientific advancements. But the Atomium isn't the only contemporary architectural gem in Brussels. The city is a veritable canvas for modern design. Take for instance the European Parliament's Paul Henry Spack building with its distinctive glass dome, or the sleek lines of the Finance Tower, one of the tallest buildings in Belgium. Each structure tells a unique story of Brussels' architectural evolution. Then there's the iconic Cinquantenaire Arch, an impressive monument that celebrates Belgium's 50 years of independence. Its intricate design offers a blend of the past and the future, embodying the city's knack for harmonizing tradition and modernity. And let's not forget about the Brussels Central Station, a masterpiece of modernist architecture. Designed by Victor Horta, one of the pioneers of Art Nouveau, the station is a testament to Brussels' commitment to innovation and aesthetics. Brussels' modern architecture isn't just about grand edifices and iconic landmarks. It's about a city that's constantly evolving, pushing the boundaries of design and embracing the future while respecting its past. The Atomium, a symbol of modern Brussels, stands as a testament to the city's continual evolution. In Brussels, European politics is not just a subject, it's a part of the cityscape. As we delve deeper into the heart of the city, we encounter the European Quarter, a district that stands as a testament to Brussels' role as a hub for European politics and diplomacy. Here the streets are lined with institutions that shape the course of Europe. The European Parliament, the European Commission, the Council of the European Union, each building bears the weight of decisions that echo across the continent. The Quarter's modern glass and steel edifices house an intricate network of offices, meeting rooms and halls, where the future of Europe is discussed, debated, and decided. The European Parliament, for instance, is where elected representatives from each member country gather to discuss and vote on European laws. Its hemicycle, where plenary sessions are held, is a symbol of democratic dialogue, a space where different voices come together to shape a common future. A stone's throw away, the European Commission stands tall. This institution plays a key role in proposing legislation, implementing decisions, and upholding EU treaties. It's here that the interests of the Union are safeguarded, and policies affecting over half a billion people are crafted. Then there's the Council of the European Union, the voice of EU member governments. Known also as the EU Council, it's here that national ministers from each EU country meet to adopt laws and coordinate policies, making it a crucial cog in the EU's legislative process. But the European Quarter is more than just a political hub. It's also a vibrant neighborhood with parks, shops, and eateries, where you can grab a Belgian waffle or a Trappist beer after a day of exploring. It's a place where the pulse of the city meets the rhythm of European politics. So, whether you're a politics buff, a lover of modern architecture, or simply curious, the European Quarter offers a fascinating glimpse into the mechanisms that drive the European Union. And remember, as you walk these streets, 
you're walking the corridors of European power, the European quarter, where the pulse of European politics beats. Brussels is a gastronomic delight, offering a culinary journey that tantalizes the taste buds. The city is a melting pot of flavors where traditional Belgian recipes meet global culinary influences. Here, food isn't just nourishment, it's a way to experience the country's rich culture and history. Let's start with the Belgian waffles, a breakfast staple that's a feast for the senses. These golden, fluffy wonders, crisp to perfection, come with a variety of toppings. From a simple dusting of powdered sugar to a lavish spread of fresh fruits, cream, and a drizzle of Belgian chocolate, there's a waffle for every palate. And speaking of Belgian chocolate, it's a world-renowned delicacy that's as much an art form as it is a sweet treat. From pralines to truffles, each piece is a testament to the country's centuries-old chocolate-making tradition. The rich, velvety texture and the balance of sweetness and bitterness make Belgian chocolate a culinary masterpiece. Next on our gastronomic tour are the Belgian fries. Contrary to popular belief, French fries were actually invented in Belgium. These perfectly golden crispy fries served in a paper cone with a dollop of mayonnaise are a national treasure. Each bite is a crunchy delight that leaves you wanting more, but Brussels' culinary scene isn't just about its traditional dishes. It's also home to a thriving food market culture, where you can sample a variety of foods from fresh seafood and artisanal cheeses to delicious pastries and local brews. It's a food haven where you can savor the best of Belgian cuisine, all in one place. The culinary experience in Brussels is as diverse as its architecture and as rich as its history. It's a place where food tells a story, where each dish is a chapter in Belgium's culinary tale. So, whether you're a food connoisseur or a curious traveler, Brussels' culinary scene is sure to leave you enchanted. In Brussels, every meal is a celebration of Belgium's culinary heritage. Brussels is an art lover's paradise, housing masterpieces that span centuries. The city's vibrant art scene is as diverse as it is captivating. One of the crown jewels of this cultural landscape is the Royal Museums of Fine Arts. This network of museums is a testament to the city's dedication to preserving and celebrating art in all its forms. It's a place where you can lose yourself in the works of old masters, be inspired by modern visionaries, and discover the emerging talents of tomorrow. Among the museum's prized collections is the Old Masters Museum, where you can journey back in time through seven centuries of art. The museum houses a rich collection of Flemish paintings, including works by Bruegel and Rubens. For fans of modern and contemporary art, the museum's modern art collection offers a dazzling array of pieces, from the abstract to the surreal. The works of renowned artists such as Magritte, Delvaux, and Alekinsky are prominently featured, showcasing the breadth and depth of Belgium's contributions to the art world. Then there's the Magritte Museum, a tribute to one of Belgium's most iconic artists, René Magritte. This museum is more than just a collection of his works. It's an immersive journey into the mind of a master, a place where the boundaries of reality are blurred and where the ordinary becomes extraordinary. But Brussels' art scene extends beyond the walls of its museums, the city itself is a canvas, with street art and murals bringing color and life to its urban landscape. It's a city where art is not confined to galleries and museums, but spills out onto the streets, making it accessible to all who pass by. Brussels, where art and culture come alive. In this city, every corner, every street, every building tells a story, waiting to be discovered and appreciated. Whether you're an art aficionado or a casual observer, Brussels offers a cultural feast for the senses, a place where art is not just seen but experienced. Every two years, Brussels' Grand Place transforms into a spectacular floral tapestry. This vibrant event, known as the Flower Carpet, is a celebration of beauty, tradition, and craftsmanship. It's a biennial spectacle where the heart of Brussels blooms into a grand mosaic of begonias, dahlias, grass, and bark, creating an ephemeral masterpiece that covers almost 19,000 square feet. The floral carpet is more than just a stunning sight. It's a testament to the city's rich history and artistic heritage. Each edition has a unique design, often inspired by themes from history or culture, and meticulously crafted by hundreds of volunteers. The event symbolizes a fusion of human creativity and nature's splendor, showcasing the harmonious blend of Brussels' architectural magnificence and botanical beauty. This floral extravaganza is a reminder of the cycles of nature, the ephemeral beauty of flowers, and the enduring allure of art. The floral carpet, a dazzling display that adds another layer to Brussels' charm. In Brussels, comics are not just books, they are a part of the city's soul. 
This is a city where illustrated characters leap off the pages and into the streets, murals and museums. The comic book route guides you through an open-air gallery, where the city's buildings are adorned with giant murals of beloved characters. From the quirkiness of the Smurfs to the adventures of Tintin, every corner holds a new story. And it doesn't stop there. The Belgian Comic Strip Center, a majestic Art Nouveau building, is a testament to the city's love for this art form. Here you can delve into the evolution of comics, discover the creative process behind each strip, and even meet the artists who bring these characters to life. This comic culture is more than entertainment, it's an integral part of Brussels' identity. It shapes the cityscape, fuels creativity, and brings joy to young and old alike. Comics, a vibrant thread in the cultural fabric of Brussels. Beer in Brussels is more than just a beverage, it's a cultural icon. As we delve into the city's brewing tradition we find a world steeped in history, brimming with variety and rich in flavor. The city's historic breweries stand as proud reminders of a craft that has been honed over centuries. From the robust Trappist beers brewed in monasteries following age-old recipes, to the unique Lambic beers spontaneously fermented by wild yeasts, the diversity of Belgian beer is truly staggering. Each variety, with its own distinct character, tells a different tale of Brussels' spirit. And it's not just the beer itself, but the experience of savoring it in a cozy brown cafe or an atmospheric beer cellar that completes the picture. The camaraderie, the laughter, the shared stories over a pint of beer, that's what truly embodies the spirit of Brussels. Beer. The golden nectar that adds to the allure of Brussels. Brussels is a city that loves to celebrate, hosting a medley of cultural events throughout the year. A symphony of festivals echoes through its streets, each one a vibrant testimony to the city's artistic spirit. Let's take the Brussels Jazz Festival, for instance. Every January, the city whisks itself into a musical frenzy, its rhythms reverberating in every corner. Jazz enthusiasts from around the globe gather, basking in the harmonious blend of melodies. But Brussels doesn't stop at jazz. Throughout the year, the city bursts into a riot of colors and sounds, celebrating everything from film and food to art and history. Each festival is a unique spectacle, showcasing the city's diverse cultural influences and its love for the arts. These events are not just celebrations, they're a way for Brussels to express its identity, its zest for life. Festivals in Brussels, where culture and celebration dance hand in hand. Brussels a city of endless marvels leaves a lasting impression on every visitor. It's a city that effortlessly marries the old and the new, the grand and the humble, the serious and the whimsical. From the grandeur of the grand place to the cheeky charm of the mannequin piss, from the futuristic atomium to the political pulse of the European quarter, Brussels never ceases to amaze. It's a city that tantalizes your taste buds with its famed waffles, fries, and globally renowned chocolates. A city that's a canvas to an eclectic art scene, and a city that blooms to life every two years with a breathtaking carpet of flowers. It's a city that celebrates the fun of comics, the tradition of brewing, and the rhythm of jazz. In essence, every corner of Brussels tells a story, a tale of rich cultural diversity and vibrant life. Brussels, a city that captivates with its blend of history, culture, and modern charm.